Hey, it's me, OS10, dude. Let me trash this. <laughs> I'm going to show you a really quick tip in Mac OS 10 here, um, as you can see. Um, it's called the screenshot tip. Instead of going all the way into go, utilities, grab, and then capture, and then window, and then choosing a window, and then file, save as, and then, you, you don't have to do all that. You don't have to do all that. Quit anyway. There's actually a way quicker way to take screenshots in Mac OS X. All you have to do to take a full screen screenshot, you have to do Command Shift 3. And note that here's the full screen screenshot. You won't be able to see the whole thing because uh, we have a small screen here. Viewing area. But I'm going to close that. And I'm going to trash that. I'm going to do my trash as well. Yep. Um, so then what we'll do now, suck for that, um, now let's take, we'll, we'll take a picture, a portion of the desktop. Now you see that something is obviously funny, so I'm going to take a picture of that. I'm going to press Command, Shift 4, and then this little, let me go into the light, this little crosshair cursor will show up with the pixel number, and then I'm going to just scroll around here and let go, and then let's go back down on the space. And there you go, there's our screenshot. Let's say we want to take a picture of only a portion of the desktop instead of like a whole section. Instead of a whole section, we will only want to take a certain, a very specific part. Let's say we wanted to take a picture of the icon, this icon. How about that? Let's do, okay, press Command Shift 4 and then press the space bar. And then I can click the icon. There you go, selection icon. Now let's delete those both. Alright, now let's say you wanted to take a picture of your dock because your dock is so cool. Now, just press Command Shift 4 once again and press the space bar once again. Now once your dock turns green, press the press the press the press the mouse button or left mouse button. And then there you go, you got a screenshot of your dock. Now if you use this if you use something called Sketch, um that was a picture I took earlier, you're you're all these images you take go right into Sketch very easily. Even now, I know you can take. Now, Sketch is also a screenshot tool, so if you prefer, and it, you can actually quickly post your screenshots to the web. Now, however, now if now if you now of course per, Sketch, I think is great. I love. I use Sketch. I do use Sketch a lot. I do. My account, by the way, is OS Ten Dude, of course, spelled O S X D U D. Um. And I do find Sketch very useful. For now, however, if you want to make a screenshot for your blog post or something, um, I prefer this method because you can take much more professional screenshots. Pretty much, I could go into my dashboard and take a picture of my iStat here. There we go. There's my iStat, and then I can go. Heck, if I wanted to show someone my current weather condition using WeatherDoc, I could do the same thing. Command Shift 4, then the space bar. It's 36 and cloudy. And then I could, for example, insert image, whatever. And then, of course, if I wanted to note an error, if I wanted to note an error, um, how do I create an error? <laughs> if I wanted to note an error, it's 9.15. In a, in a window, or just any window, I can just press the space, I can do the same thing, command shift 4, then the space bar, and then there we go, screenshot of my find a window. Let's say I wanted to show some of my current left space, command shift 4, space bar, Macintosh HD. There you go. You can take pictures of get info windows, you can take pictures of pretty much everything. Uh, let's delete these. Now, uh, let's say you wanted to take a picture. Let's say there's something wrong with a program like Dropbox, and it's not displaying the right stuff in the menu. Right there. Well, that's fine here, but but I'm gonna take. But, but but let's say some one of them doesn't work. Well, I can take a screenshot of it. Uh, give it a bit. This. Menus seem to take a bit more to process. I don't know why. Because if they're...
because of their trans because men these menus have tend to have slightly ever so slightly transparent backgrounds as you can see but it, it manages to get it there and it works as you can see now unfortunately I cannot take a picture of individual icons in Finder unlike the desktop like I can here but I mean if you wanted to scale down a wallpaper to one to your desktop size like or any picture all you have to do is set it as your wallpaper and then set it as your wallpaper click stretch and then click it or something I don't know now let's say um, yeah you can press the space bar again if you want to return back to the crosshair that's also something useful I'm gonna take a picture of you and you're gonna appear there you go let's say let's say I want a quick look my this video here welcome all I have to do is do the same thing and there we go screenshot of its now if I put this into sketch you notice that let me see here it, it does have a transparent background because that there's transparency here how evil is that and well that's that's today that's my Mac OS 10 tip for today um comment on this video if you have any more tips or if you need any more help just also let me know um, thank you for watching this video, and I'm going to click stop the cache now.